Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Cosmic Neighbors. Last episode, I was talking about all the missions to Mars, Moon, want to create like a Noah's Ark up there. And um, it got a little deep, which is that's how I felt and how I feel. But now I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, this, the Pentagon Task Force. It has, um, let me bring you over, you know, the report, the the attachment to the re, uh, to the main build, S3905. This is the minority report, uh, minority view. Anyway, this is the one, um, I highlighted it in here. Let me see, it's on page 11. There we go. Um, the advanced aerial threats. Now, this ain't going to be, this isn't going to be a big visual. I just want to talk about something real quick expectations and why I think one of the big reasons why they're not telling us not only just UFOs, but about actual alien beings, life forms. So I'm pretty sure you guys all read this already. I'm going to put a link to it again. But why I'm bringing this up again, this report is they they have 180 days it's on aerial, okay? Advanced aerial threats. Nowhere in here. So, like, if anybody is wondering or hoping that, you know, disclosure, because I'm all for that. They, it's a great movement going on, right? But I don't think hope should get up. Get Hope shouldn't get too high about them disclosing much, especially about any life forms, because this is strictly too aerial. Now, of course, I could be wrong, and they could shock us all and say something, but um, that's it. And I think, you know, I think you do too. I think the majority of it is they may elaborate a little bit more on the, um, these things. What was it? Um, you remember these, the, the videos? I don't have to play them again, but they may elaborate a little bit more on this and maybe some other sightings. It doesn't have to be um, just like an alien craft. It could be that, you know, Russia's working on something. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. But here, here's, I want to go over something real quick. And I'm curious about your thoughts. You know, with them not for years and years and years, probably in the beginning of the 40s, probably even well before that, where they constantly cover it up. And it ain't like, oh, it's a conspiracy theory. We know they are. It's just, it's just too obvious, too many sightings. But why? Now, the obvious ones are, you know, they could be, which they are uh, reverse engineering, right? And trying to, you know, they want to militarize everything. Uh, could make some weapons or anything like that because they're not going to uh, uh, create like a, a lifelong or 30-year power energy, you know, that that guy Bob Lazar was talking about, you know, because that would kill the energy companies and, you know, that's billions of dollars. So if there's anything like that, they're going to hold that. But I think one of the main reasons... Do you remember, um, I think it was late last year, um, and I actually had the story, and I knew I forgot something, but it was the, the gentleman from Israel. He was, for 30 years, he was the head of security for the space, um, for the space security, uh, space security, but he was a high-level official. He wasn't like just some guy that filled out an application, he got a job. No, he was up there, right? And it was really strange. I actually, on my other channel, before I started this one, talked about that Tr President Trump wanted to tell the people about the aliens and that the aliens said no. Basically, they've been talking with, they call it the Federation. 
these uh, life, um, these alien beings, right? Um, I'm, I'm going to find it. I couldn't find it anywhere. I have to. Um, let me see something. If I could do this while I'm talking to you. Um, so let me see. Bring this up. And I wasn't going to, I wasn't planning on this one, but might as well right now. Just to show you something. Let me see something here. Oh, I hate all this stuff. Continue without supporting. Yeah, NBC, sure. Um, okay, you can see this. Um, a former Israel space security chief has sent eyebrows shooting heavenward by saying that Earthlings have been in contact with extraterrestrials from a galactic federation. The unidentified flying objects have asked not to publish that they are here. Humanity is not ready yet. The former head of Israeli Defense Ministry Space <laughs> uh, director uh, told Israel's I'm not even going to try because I don't want to disrespect the Yeti. I just say the interview in Hebrew ran on Friday and gained traction after parts were published in English by the Jerusalem Post on Tuesday. A respected professor and retired general, Eshad, said the aliens were equally curious about humanity and were seeking to understand the fabric of the universe. Um, I'm trying to see something here with... Uh, oh, Eshad added that President Trump was aware of the extraterrestrials existing and had been on the verge of revealing information, but was asked not to in order to prevent mass hysteria. Right? So, um, let me, this is my site. Let me just bring this back down just for a second. Okay. Um, sorry about that. I just, it was really important. I didn't want to just tell you something and then say, uh, I'll put a link and you look at it yourself. So, so down with the aliens and they say mass hysteria. Now it's not mass hysteria with, um, you know, you notice how they always bring up that thing with Orson Welles, War of the Worlds, how people panicked and wink. Well, think about it. That's not fair. What happened there? In the, if people would have tuned in from the beginning, they would have heard the announcement that they were going to do a reading of Orson Welles' War of the Worlds. But people tuned in in the middle, and some, a lot of people tuned in right at that point when they're listening to it. That it comes in, well, we're going over to Jersey, I think that's where the guy was reporting from. And here they're shooting beams, ah, screaming and everything. Of course, people, if they did that now, you would panic. I mean, maybe not us, like ones that welcome disclosure and everything like that. We probably get all shaven up and everything and go meet them. But you know what I mean? If people came home from work and they turned it on and there was just like a trailer, but it looks like a new show. And the aliens, like, people will be freaking out. So it's not fair to compare that, right? Because it's always that, oh, they could be hostile. But besides that, this is, this is the issue, I think. And if it's not the issue from our government's point of view, I think this will be the big issue of them revealing themselves is religion. Now, I know, you probably go like, oh, I thought you were going to say something real crazy. You're like, you know, no, duh, no, seriously. Think about it. 95% uh, of the population, at least, probably more, believe, you know what? That's an old stat. I'll say 90, because I'm really not sure, but I know it's a high number that believe in like a, a God or a supreme being or something like that. And just imagine... Right. So like in the Bible, it said in, I believe it's in Genesis, the first book, it says, and God created the heavens and the earth. And, you know, so if, and that was it, not that he created any life, it's only here. People that are so devout don't really believe like it would just it would just disrupt a lot. Like if people have a total belief in something, and now this giant curveball gets thrown at them, a wrench thrown in. Same thing with the Muslims, with Prophet Muhammad. And I say all this stuff like, you know, I'm not trying to disrespect anybody. I'm just talking, being honest. Imagine that, like. You know, I'm sure you heard of the story about the Anunnaki and all that, that 
they that they mess up their atmosphere. And and again, I'm not trying to sound like I'm throwing out um, conspiracy theories, but it was that they needed to mine out gold, and it was tough. So what they this is how the story goes with the ancient Sumerians on their tablets, so that the Anunnaki created man or did something with the DNA and basically made us slaves to mine the gold for them. Now, I don't know if it goes that far, but just imagine if it did. That would be the hysteria because you'll have people that would be angry. You'll have people that would be in despair, like like their world come down on top of them. Then you have people that are like, they just go with the flow or whatever. Then you have... Uh, more religions that are more radical than the others, it could get that really bad, you know? And then I was thinking about that with religion. Like, wouldn't you like to take a look into the Vatican's archives? They supposedly have so much stuff about UFOs that they just, there's a lot of stuff they have that you just can't see. They just won't let it. It's like on lockdown and nobody ever questions it. I mean, they do and you just get it shot down. But that's what I was thinking because when I was, um, somebody made a comment on the video, the last video I made. And I opened up my video and I was wanted to check something out. And then that's when it occurred to me. I'm like, I'm reading this again, this report. Um, sorry. I'm reading this report, the, um, the add-on, the advanced aerial threats, the 180 day thing. And... I'm like, they're only talking about aerial threats, nothing else. They're not putting anything in there like report on if you have any alien bodies held back. Did you ever, do you know anything about them coming back? Like, there's nothing in there. This is only about aerial, you know? And again, what bothers me is this part, the very last, um, where it says the report shall be submitted in unclassified form, but may include a classified annex. You know it's going to have that. So, but anyway, I'm just, I'm, I'm curious what your thoughts are on it, because, I mean, I know it's obvious, but um, that's why, and I got to be careful with the words I choose, because, you know, YouTube, how they change the rules and certain words, even though I'm using it in a different way, they, it just, the algorithm picks it up. So let's put it this way. That's why I believe they are brooming, like brooming, but with a different letter. You know what I'm saying? Us, like little drip by drip, the naval things, then another politician saying this, this newspaper leaking that, then this thing with Trump and the Israeli guy. Like you notice before it was more of like, ah, like you're crazy or something. Now, it's people actually open to it a lot more. And like, it's like not a lot of news to them. Oh, you yeah, there was another sighting. It's like just another day. And that's what I believe they're doing. Little by little, like softening us up. But that's, I think that's one of the main reasons in our government, you know, with, it, with them, like with military stuff and everything like that. I, I just wish they could be transparent for one time. Like, like I, I want them to do it forever, obviously, but just let us know f f once and for all. If there's stuff in there that truly is a national security threat, I understand that. But they hide behind that all the time. They hide behind that, you know, so... Anyway, oh, I want to show you one more thing. Well, that's my little guy, Drew. That's my little mascot, um, Cosmo. Oh, it's right here. So this video was this Navy pilot guy. 
Commander David Freibor's and colleagues made fun, fun of him, him after learning he encountered what appeared to be a UFO during a standard know, training mission off the coast win. of San Diego is, in 2004. Watch this. Freibor was in his F-A-18 F fighter jet when a radio operator asked him to now, investigate a mysterious like a white floating right? object it hovering like over a the sea. Like he told the New York the Times he made a beeline for the 40-foot oval... So, I use this program called Power Director, right? Um, and... I created, there's an AI, um, a LUT, an L-U-T, um, and I used um, like a painting AI part to convert the video. It looks like a painting the video. But I took a screenshot, right? So let's see. So see right down here, right above where it says footage, if you look up CETA, that's the UFO, that's that device. See when I froze the frame, see the shape of it? it? Looks like a saucer. In the other video, it just looked like this blob thing or whatever, but when I did the thing like this, and I, and I kept going frame by frame, a bunch of other times it's, it's a saucer. So, and just to show you what I meant, this is the thing when I said, that I made it, turned it into like a Commander painting. David Freibor's colleagues so made fun of him here, after Los Diego in 2004. Freibor right was here, in his F-A-18F fighter jet when a radio right operator asked him yeah, to investigate it's bouncing a mysterious like, it looks white like floating a object hovering over And the reason I did that was because you, we couldn't, I couldn't see it clearly like in the video. It just looked like a faded blob. So I wanted to see if we get some clarity on that. But anyway, folks, I could just keep babbling on and thinking of more stuff and going on. Um... But usually uh, I'm going to upload videos on Sunday. That's the main day. But I'm probably going to do this a little more often too, talk about other stuff. And uh, I like to talk about what's on my mind too at times. And I like to get people's feedback because it's good. There's a lot of people that have thoughts on their mind, but they don't want to say anything because they think, oh, people are going to judge them or say, I don't care about being judged. I know I'm saying to an extent, but that's it. That's how I feel, and that's what I think. With that being said, please like, share, and subscribe. Like I said, just started the channel. So I'm to get a nice little bit of views. And now I would like to subscribe to this if you don't mind. So please share this. All right. Um, next time on this Sunday. All right. And my name is Ron Mason. In search of our cosmic neighbors. Peace out.